Hi guys, hope you're doing good. In this video, we are going to learn about tuple. Tuple is one of a collection data type in Python. Now in the previous video, you would have learned about list. If at all you have not watched that video, I have given the link in the description, please do go and watch. Now list is usually used to store some list of datas. Now tuple also we can do the same thing. But then what is the difference between a list and a tuple? List is immutable and tuple is immutable. What is mutable and immutable? Mutable means I can go and change, modify the data or delete the data, do whatever I want. But whereas in tuple, I cannot do that. It is immutable. I cannot change, I cannot modify, I cannot do anything. That is the reason I said list is mutable and tuple is immutable. In other sense, I can say tuple is a read-only list. Now list is created with the help of bracket and tuple is created with the help of parentheses. Now when I give something within parentheses then that is said to be a list. Sorry, that is said to be a tuple. I'm sorry. Now let me give some values here. Now if I want to print the values of my tuple, let me run this code and you will be getting the list sorry, uh, the, the list of values in the tuple as it is. Now, if I want to access any particular value in a tuple, as within a list, we can also access this with the help of index. Now, if I give zero, as usual, it is a zeroth index, that is first value. I'll be getting the first value, that is one. And if I want to say six, that will be go and fetching the sixth index value. It is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 34. Got it? Now this 34, not the first 34, that is index 1. This is index 6. It will access this value. Now this is index, normal index. If I say negative indexing, I'll say minus 1, that access the last value. When I run this code, you'll be getting 34 again. And if I say 7, or let me say 6 or 5 it will give you 25 because it is minus 1 this is minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 right if I say minus 7 it will print 1 if I say minus 5 it is printing 25 this is called as negative indexing and if I want to slice a part of value from the tuple for example I want the first three values and I will say start from 0 and then 0, 1, 2, I have to give 3 here because so in slicing this takes a starting value and this takes the end and stops one before the third index. If it is 0, it starts as a 0th index and when I say 3, it stops one before the third index. So it prints 1, 3 and 25 that is 0, 1 and 2. Let me execute this for you. 1, 34 and 25. Now here if I don't give 0 also by default the starting position is 0 so it is not required for me to mention that it has 0. So you get the same output right. Now if I want to print the last three values that is 56, 76 and 34. So where this what is the index position of this we need to find the index position that is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the index position of 56 is 4 so I'm starting from 4 and this is 4, 5, 6, so let me give 7 or by default it ends at the last. By default it ends at the last. So for beginning that is 0th position and the last position it is not required for me to mention there. When I do this it prints the last 3 values that is 56, 76 and 34. Yeah, this is how I do slicing. Now apart from this I have some built in methods that are available for tuple. In list we have seen almost 11 methods that are available for list but tuple it has only three methods they are count and index. Now when I say count this count method helps me to count the occurrence of a particular value. For example if I give 34 it goes and counts how many times the value 34 occurred in the tuple. Let me do this. It's saying 2 because 34 occurred twice in the tuple. 
Now if I say 56 and try to execute it, it gives you 1. Let me give a value which is not there. Let me say 156 which is not there and run this code and what it says? 0 because it is not at all there. It means that that number 156 occurred 0 times. Okay. I have one more method called as index. If I say index of 56, now this will provide me the index position of the value 56. Now it will be 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Right? You got 4 here. It gives the index position. These are the two methods that are available for tuple. And apart from this, we have some common methods like lin, sorted, min, max, and sum. Now, these are the common functions that are available across all the data types, right? Like uh, all the collection data, I'm sorry, collection data types like list or tuple, we can use all these things. Now, as we have seen this, let us see, as we have seen in uh, list, we can also use the same methods here. When I say len of my tub and then I execute this, it gives you seven. That is the list, sorry, that is the length of the tuple. The length, what is the length of the tuple? That is three plus four, seven. Now, when I say min, it provides the minimum value of the tuple. That is one. And if I say max, that provides you the maximum value of the tuple. Let me run this, you get 76. And if I say sum, this adds up all the values, all the, all the elements in the tuple. Okay. So this function is called a sorted. Let me tell you what the sorted method does or sorted function does. Let me say sorted. The sorted method sorts the value which is present inside the object, either it may be a list or a tuple, and returns the value back. Now here, as I said already, tuple is immutable, then you, it means that you cannot go and change it. But what I can do is that I can take the values of the tuple, sort it up, and then put it inside a new list. I repeat, it is putting placing inside the list and not in a tuple. So the sort method takes my tup, uh, tuple object as an argument, sorts the value which is present inside the tuple and stores in the list. Let me say print and then say my list. And if you want, I can also print the tuple for you to show the difference. So let me say tuple and then I give this and here let me say sorted list just to differentiate I'm just giving this print statement let me run this code okay the tuple exact tuple value is this 134.25 as it is it's a tuple no problem yes it is a tuple because it is uh, uh, surrounded by a parenthesis and when I say sorted list it is printing a sorted value and you can see it is bounded by a bracket and it means that it is a list and apart from this you can also delete a tuple completely right I can delete the entire tuple like I'll say del my tuple it means that the tuple will be completely deleted it will no more be present there because uh, I cannot I cannot change or delete a particular value right I cannot do like this this is not possible this is possible in list I can I can delete a particular value at a particular index that is possible in list but in tuple it is not possible in tuple i can delete the entire tuple okay let me try to print it again after deleting it let me try to access it see what error we are getting okay it printed everything is there everything is fine now here you can say at this line it is throwing an error name error name error will occur when you don't have a variable name or when you don't have an object name and try to access it when you don't declare it and then try to access it, then you'll be getting an error called as name error. But here it is already declared, but it is throwing an error at this line because it is deleted. When I say delete the entire tuple, which is there in the memory, it is getting deleted. That's the reason it's throwing me an error. Now this proves that when I delete, it deletes the entire tuple. 
right not the particular value or not the value which is present inside it deletes the entire tuple now as i said already my tuple is immutable it means that i cannot change it let me try to modify some value by accessing the index let me try this this is possible in list when i try to access the index and try to store a value and let me execute this it will throw me an error what is that tuple object does not support item assignment i cannot store anything to it or i cannot modify anything to it that is not possible because my tuple is mute immutable i'm sorry uh, and that's it guys i'm done with it if you have any uh, doubts or any queries you can very well comment in the comment section i'll get back to you on that and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get continuous notification about the other videos that I'm going to give. Thank you very much guys.